Hi guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Trace and Bait Clinic once again. Today I'm going to be talking about rigging a live bait, that's a live mackerel or a mozzie, using J-hooks. What we require for this is um, our big gun 1.0 or our ringed soy 2.0s. Uh, either the nappy pin uh, slide or late, uh, live bait slide or the non return unweighted slide. It's up to you, a matter of uh, opinion who and which one works the best. 21 kilo maxima toothpick. Mustard braid scissors, just because I've got them, and Kingfisher thick latex cotton. Okay, um, to start off with, I'm just going to do a mackerel one, double hook. So let's start with that. We're going to take two of these hooks. They offset. They work extremely well. I'm going to get our suies quickly. I'll just show you how to do it as well at the same time while I'm here. There we go. I'm just going to move everything away. Our thick latex cotton and the reason we use the thick latex cotton it doesn't break as easily we're going to take our two hooks back to back and we pretty much just double the latex cotton and we wrap it around the shank of the actual um, hook working up to and in line with the point we don't go past that point when we're doing this we don't have to do it too many times, just to stiffen it up, because that's all we really want to do. Then we, to finish it off, all we do is we just basically do a loop around it. Take your finger over, under, through, around, just to form a loop. You can, however, take um, something like nail varnish if you want, epoxy, super glue works very well to just stiffen it up a little bit more if you'd like. The silver ones, I'm going to do exactly the same. The one that we use for our mozzies or our mullet. Show you again. We just double a bit of our thick Kingfisher latex cotton. Wrap it around behind the eye and we work our way up to the point. To finish it off, we just go around and over and under, around, over and under, around, over and through. Do that three or four times with our latex cotton, break it off. Simple as that. Again, like I said, your wife's clear nail varnish, epoxy, um, heat shrink works very well for this as well. And yeah, super glue. Okay, to make our trace. We take about a meter of Maxima nylon. To make our trace, we take about a meter of Maxima 21 kilo. Cut that off. I'm just going to use a nappy pin uh, slide today. Works extremely well with mackerel and mozzies because they're quite fast moving. If I was using a shad or a mullet that are much slower in the water, I'd use the non-return slide, the unweighted non-return slide. Open up the nappy pin, just take that off. Okay. To attach it, all I do is I take my maximum nylon through the eye of the power swivel. And now what I'm gonna do is wrap it around three times to form a figure of eight. One, twice, three times. We then take the tag in through the back, like I've done there. And there's my figure of eight. Bit of lubrication, slide it down, pull tight. Cut the tag end off, just like that. Now what we're going to do is form what they call a Rapala knot. The Rapala knot, we take a loop around and through. So we're forming what they call a granny knot. There we go. Pull it until it starts getting tight. So there's our granny knot. We then take our hook, 
So we go through both eyes, wrap it through the granny knot, like so. I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see it. So it's gone through. Then all I do is I just pinch where the, that granny knot, knot is, and I'm going to wrap this around three or four times. One, two, three, four times, and then go back through the granny knot. Okay. Pull it until it gets tight. A bit of lubrication on it. Make sure you don't slip when you do that. And there's our knot tied. So what we have on the end here is basically a free moving knot. It's as simple as that, guys. There is another way of doing it. Um, I'll show you that after this one. To rig our live bait. And for this one, I'm going to be using mackerel. Take a power, um, my toothpick, grab my bait quickly. Okay, guys, here's my live mackerel. Wet your hands before you actually work with your, your live bait. We take our uh, toothpick. We're then going to slide it down the back of the mackerel from in line where those little peck fins are over there. We're going to go in under the skin and we're not going to go deep when we do it. We're just going to go underneath it. And you can see there how I'm running it under the skin. And we don't go far, maybe a centimeter, two centimeters. Take our mustard scissors, cut it off and then carry on sliding it down until that part is actually underneath. Can you see how it's still sitting underneath? What we then do is take our hook and right next to where that toothpick is, go underneath the actual toothpick and straight out. You don't want to go deep into the skin, uh, into the flesh of the actual bait because you kill it quite easily. So there it is there. Obviously the mackerel pulls against the resistance the whole time, hence the way we actually rig that toothpick. And that's it guys, you let your mackerel go in the water and let him do his thing. He'll swim off um, and that's it. Derek will come along, eat it. There's your trace done. It's as simple as that guys. Nothing fancy about Garrick fishing. That's what makes him so nice and easy to target. Guys, to do our moss bunker bait, using our silver hook, I'm just gonna show you another way other than the Rapala knot to actually tie it. So what we do, there's our um, mustard suez. I'm gonna take my line, thread it through. I'm then gonna take three times around. So figure of eight, that's all I'm doing. Back through the tag end. pull it, slide it down to where I want it to be. Then what you do is you get something like a pen. I'm just going to grab one of these pens over here. You can use a bait needle. You can use the, um, there's just so many things in your box you can use. I'm just going to use a pen to show you how to do this one. Okay. Slide it down all the way to where um, the knot is and the eye of the hook is. Pull tight. Slide it off and cut the tag in. Okay, so there we go. We've still got a perfect loop on it. That is very, very tight because the knot is now pulled tight. And the bonus with this is when you do hook your actual Garrick, that knot slides down onto the R and it's not going to move. Okay, show you how to rig it quickly with a live mozzie. There's my live moss bunker. Wet your hands before you touch it and work with it. Take your uh, toothpick and again, in line with where that the, the gills actually come, the furthest part of the gills, which is basically that area there. We insert and just under the skin, so we just go make a little hole and we slide it just under the skin. We don't go far. Take our side cutters or mackerel uh, mustard uh, pliers, scissors, 
and we just take our finger and we push that piece in under the skin there. There it is there, I can feel it, I can see it. We then take our hook and right next to it, we basically go underneath and pull it out. We then take our live bait down to the, the water's edge and let it go and it will go all the way down to our slide. That's what makes the nappy pin slide so good is that the fish stays alive. It can move up, it can move to back down, out, back down. It covers a lot of area with this nappy pin slide, especially when you've got a lovely live bait like a, a mackerel or a moss bunker like this. Obviously, again, like I say, with shad and with mullet, uh, it's better to use a non-return. There we go, guys. That's the figure of eight knot.